which means hippo. <laughs> we call it Maui, but the that's the native, whatever the native, native language is, I don't know, some kind of Arabic language, or maybe not even be Arabic. Uh, it's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, Islam in Maui now, but whatever the original dialect was, hippo was Maui. And it's where if you want to go see a hippo, you go to Maui. The one thing you be careful of is you don't get very close to them at all. Because they can run faster than you, they will outrun you, and when they put their, and they do that with their mouth, you're broken to pieces. Not a nice way to die. And, and they are mean. They just don't like people. You swim in their water, they will often just because you're, they see you, they'll just go after you. If you're on a, a canoe and you're going to a place where they're on the bank, they'll sometimes just go and do that to the canoe. And then if you survive it, then they'll go after you. <laughs> they, they are not nice. How do you know that? I had no missionaries that were in Maui. And uh, they told me, <laughs> stay away from the hippos. <laughs> and they told me the natives, they're fearful of the hippos because they get, they'll, and they run fast. You think they would just be big, they are they just go like this? Because if you see them in the zoo behind cages, they're just always walking around slow. But if they decide to run, they can outrun you. <laughs> you cannot run away from them unless you've got a half a mile lead. <laughs> they probably won't come after you. But if you're within 100 yards of them, when you see them, you better slowly start walking back and not draw attention. <laughs> <laughs> if you get any closer and they see you, the, the male hippo is very aggressive. And he may say, what are you doing in my territory? And, and you don't have, there's no place you can hide from a hippo. It does, a, I mean, it can, it can almost tear a tree down in front of you, especially if it's a small enough tree. And they might not, they'll go around, of course, and use tree, but they are, they are pretty fierce. I always thought about as lazy and slow until I, until I, met this missionary several years ago and she said, oh no, <laughs> they are not. You, the, the, uh, um, the Africans of that area, they stay as far away from the hippo. You don't even try to kill a hippo. Killing a hippo is too dangerous. They're just, I mean, you shoot a few arrows in their side and they just get kind of angry at you. <laughs> now if you have a rifle and you're starting out at uh, 100 yards, yeah, you can kill them with a rifle if you've got a strong enough rifle. Don't try to do it with a pellet gun, though. <laughs> okay, so much for the hippo. If, if you tend to draw your sine curve, like my point starting is all, if you tend to start your sine curve looking like a hippo, I don't take off points. I like you to try to do it smoothly. It looks nicer that way and learn how to draw a sine curve. But I, I'm not here to grade you on art. This is not an art class. So I never grade on art, I grade on the, the math. And so if your art isn't too good, I'll, I'll let your art teacher worry about that. And since most art teachers don't know what I'm talking about, uh, they won't ever grade you on it. <laughs> In fact, when the previous art teacher was here, um, Mrs. Oh, what's her name? New Years. She was a newer daughter. I think she was the same age as my son. I sat, uh, Mrs. She's in Dallas now. I already got a blank. I got a blank on her. Anybody remember who she was? Was that No. Well, she started the, uh, years ago, she started. Oh, Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Smith. I just had a, couldn't pull her name. Such a hard name to remember, Smith. It's so common that you just forget it. <laughs> and I do all of that. Anyway. Uh, I, I taught her about the most beautiful art there is out there. She didn't know about it. I had to show her the pictures on the internet. It's called fractals. It's using math to draw. <laughs> and you're not going to find any better art than uh, fractals. And, but it's natural. It's natural. It's what, what you see in nature based on the uh, math. Anyway, she, I showed her. She was impressed. <coughs> she didn't teach it to the kids, so I wasn't surprised. Uh, okay, let's modify this again. Let's take another one. Let's 